Hi everyone, it's Eric here. I hope you're all doing well. So I have some questions I see keep coming up in the community and I thought I'd answer them. The first question is, have I figured out my personality type? Second, will I ever do a type reveal? Have I had a spiritual awakening? Or have I had a mental breakdown? Find out those questions and more in today's video. Okay, so to start off, where am I at and what is going on? The first things that I want to clarify is that I've spent the past few months studying up on other systems. I decided that I wanted to understand the whole of typology, and so I decided to understand objective personality, cognitive personality theory, cognitive type, and Jung's original works. So I've had some time to go over Jung's original works, I've started reading Young's old literature. I'm going over also other articles associated with Young, like the Red Book and Ion and other pieces of knowledge. I'm also looking into other kinds of philosophy and spirituality. So I'm looking into Taoism. I'm looking into uh, Buddhism. I'm looking into all kinds of different systems because I want to understand the greater truths that surround us all, the greater mysteries of life, the soul, the spirit, why we are here, and yeah, what it means to have a soul or an identity or a personality type. So I'm taking some time to do a bigger meta analysis of everything. And beyond that, I'm taking some time to understand the other systems. So where am I at with that right now? Where am I at with objective personality and with cognitive personality theory? As it stands now, the thing that I will be doing is most likely I will be kind of forming kind of a meta system, which is just I will try to pick out the best things, the best practices, the things that I like most about all different systems. And I will just be combining them kind of into my own package and how I want to work with things. So I'm going to be picking up some things from uh, objective personality, but there are also some things that I will not pick up. I will not have a 512 type model. There's a lot of things that I will avoid. There are a lot of things I'm not going to take on when it comes to objective personality. At the moment, as it stands, there are some things that I really like and a lot of things that I really don't like. So that's where I'm at right now in my personal studies of objective personality. The thing I'm most interested in studying is masculinity and femininity. That's the thing that boggles me the most, understanding that core concept. Now, I'm probably not going to be using it in the way that objective personality is using it. So most likely how I'm going to end up using this is going to be a bit different than how they are using it. But I do find a really interesting pattern, so I'm really grateful to them for bringing that up. Beyond that, I'm going to be looking into cognitive personality theory, and actually I've already talked with Harry Murrow from CPT, and I'm going to be taking on a lot of his ideas in my work. More specifically, I like that his work is more true to the original works and ideas of Carl Jung. I like that he rests his ideas firmly in the Jungian base. I think the Jungian theory is where Jungian models need to start, and I need to see that people actively quote and base their ideas or at least show how they are connecting their ideas to the original theories. So if you're going to talk about introverted intuition or extroverted sensing, you should at least reference Carl Jung or explain how you are applying his works, even if you are making changes to it, which is completely fine. You should still think about how and what the old version of this function is and how it relates to your modern theories. Besides that, I'm going back to the root. So I'm going to try to simplify my own model. A lot of the time what I keep tripping over is I end up making things too complex and broad. I end up coming up with a really big thing and then everything kind of collapses on its own weight. There are so many different theories trying to be crammed together and a lot of the time they don't really work together. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be focusing on what it is I do best. So I'm going to be connecting the study of Jung's functions to the study of flow. So I'm going to look at and see, okay, how can we use the functions to help people reach a state of flow? Besides that, 
I've of course taken a lot of time to think about my own personality type. So I'm wondering about my own personality type. I'm thinking about what my personality type is. I'm reflecting on all the different ideas. I've heard arguments from all kinds of sides. I've listened to objective personality when they say ENTP. And honestly, I can't see it. I've also listened to other theories and other thinkers that have other ideas. And at the moment, I'm not seeing it. I'm not there yet. So I've kept an open mind to the idea that I might be another type. And I'm still keeping an open idea to myself being possibly mistyped. I'm going to take more time to think about it. And I'm going to keep processing and reflecting and hearing other people. Because I think one month is not really enough to figure out a question like that. Especially not if I'm reframing and trying to understand the processes as a, as a whole. If I want to give old models and systems a chance, I have to listen to and uh, try to get, let their arguments sink in. The other question is, will I ever do a type reveal? And on this question, I've kind of found myself going a bit back and forth. In some ways, I think it's actually for the better that people don't know my personality type. I understand that uh, everyone has the right to see me the way they want to see me. And uh, I think people like to test their, their ability to type uh, people on YouTube and uh, to have a chance to discuss and to reflect on and reason about my personality type might just be more positive. So to give other people a chance to reflect on my personality type, I think that's just positive. Uh, still, maybe um, I will decide to do a type reveal at some point, but at the moment, I'm not doing it. I have nothing planned. I'm not uh, set on anything. I'm still taking my time and just seeing what is going on. The final question was on my spiritual awakening. So as I'm changing my concepts and broadening my YouTube channel, I'm talking more about philosophical concepts. I've used to only use my channel for discussing the personality types, but now I want to understand broader subjects. I'm thinking about deeper subjects like, sure, Buddhism, Taoism, and all kinds of different ideas. I'm looking into the classics. I'm looking into ancient Greece. I'm looking into and studying old myths and legends because I want to understand archetypes and I want to understand spirituality. I'm interested in spirituality. I'm interested in all matters of life. I'm interested in how we can connect with and be present and how we can awaken ourselves in the sense of getting out of autopilot and starting to become more conscious. So I'm interested in consciousness. I'm interested in uh, all those concepts. And I can see that spirituality can sometimes be a healthy tool for that. However, no, I'm not having a spiritual awakening. I've just started thinking. I've started opening my mind to broader ideas. I understand that not everything has to be fully proven or fully based on logic or fully based on reason. I understand that there are interesting concepts that can help guide the mind to greater understanding. So I'm open to spiritual ideas and spiritual topics and I enjoy hearing about them and I always have. It's nothing new for me. It's just a once again a letting go of my persona. Because I've had a persona on YouTube, I thought that I had to be somebody logical, somebody uh, firmly based in the objective world, somebody that uh, firmly looked at things from a scientific point of view. And now I see that maybe that's not my purpose at all. Definitely, I want to have scientific standards and I want to challenge myself to think critically about everything but I don't necessarily see myself as a scientist I don't see my role as proving function models or proving the functions I think that work is for somebody else I'm just here because I'm interested in learning about and better understanding how to navigate the human mind my question for you all is, how are you doing? How have you been feeling about the changes lately? How do you feel about the videos, the content, 
and things that are happening. I understand that if, um, at the moment none of the videos are speaking to you and I'd say I, I hope that you can give me some time to find my feet again. I think from January on I should feel more solid. I had my timeline set to only start really going back to and starting to push and explain my own things from January onwards. So that's the rough deadline that I set in my head. Until then, I'm just gonna keep exploring and my videos will be more experimental. My videos will be more creative. It will be more to test things out, to test out ideas, you know? The thing is, while I care about you all and I wanna bring you all good content, I also wanna bring myself good content. So that's always been a challenge for me. I want to talk about things that interest me and sometimes I understand that what I interests me, what interests me might not interest you. And uh, if that's what it is, then um, yeah, I hope that it will at least resonate with some of you. And yeah, after, I hope that I will also keep making videos that resonate with my old audience and with everyone else as well. Of course, I wanna be there for everyone and I wanna support everyone and I wanna support my community. And my community is uh, truly close to my heart. I care about all of you. I care about uh, all of you who have been along with me for the ride for this long. I will and always want to keep supporting you all in any way possible. So if there is anything I can help you with, don't hesitate to contact me. I still read and keep up with the comments and the information I get as good as I can. I try to keep up with and catch up with every single comment and I try my best to read all the emails that come in. I try my best to uh, be there for everyone. So if there's something, yeah, you can always contact me. And otherwise, yeah, I hope that you're in for a good Christmas and that you're all taking care of each other's. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.